What message did you deliver to the uh, conference attendees today? So I was here today to talk about hugging your social media haters the credit union way, making sure that people understand that people saying negative things online on social media about your credit union is actually a good thing. Why is that? Why is that good? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing because relationships die in apathy. People who take the time to tell us what we're doing wrong or tell us what they were expecting and didn't get are the people that can really help us improve as credit unions. And they actually improve our online reputation because if people see only positive things about someone online, they're a lot less likely to trust it. So if they see that there was an issue and you dealt with it, then they tend to have a lot better reaction online. What process do you follow when someone posts a negative comment about STCU? First, I breathe, because we are all human. We all have very difficult emotional reactions sometimes to people saying really, really difficult things. So step one, breathe. Um, oftentimes, then, I'll say a lot of things out loud that never get typed. Um, after I do that, then I take a chance to thank them for taking the time and the energy and the effort to actually tell us what's wrong, because that means that they care. Then I correct any factual inaccuracies, because sometimes those exist and it's important to correct them, and then follow up. Make sure to actually solve their issue or offer some way to, for them to fix it. My general rule of thumb is to follow up twice, once publicly, and then if possible, once privately, or give them a way to do that so we can make sure that the issue is getting solved. Do you have any other advice for credit unions in the, about social media? <laughs> um, be authentic, as we've heard about many times at this conference. Make sure that you're human, that you are paying attention to what network that you're on, because no network is the exact same. Facebook has a very different voice and a very different expectation than Twitter or LinkedIn or any of the others. Um, and make sure that you're friends with your compliance department. There are so many potential compliance pitfalls when it comes to social media that if you don't at least pay attention to them, you could get yourself into unintentional hot water very quickly.